everybody, my name is Matthew Pose with Pose Acoustics. Uh, so yeah, I'm shooting a bunch of videos in the same location. Uh, I just want to move the camera and I'm trying to get a bunch of videos shot so I can keep you guys entertained with something and keep the channel going. Um, I've already talked about why it's kind of gotten neglected. I'm going to try to get some stuff going more and more. I want to give another shout out to these. So I've now been living with these for at least a month. So whenever you guys saw those videos, I don't even remember how long it's been, whenever you saw those videos showed up and I was like, hey, check it out. So I had just installed them, I think by that day, and I hadn't had time to calibrate it. I hadn't had time to really listen to it. I just hooked them up, made it kind of sound okay, and then did some videos. Obviously, like within a week, I couldn't live like that. I had to like properly calibrate it, so I did. So I've calibrated this system. I actually would like to talk about the method I used. Um, so basically, it's not the standard way that Trinov calibrates bass. It's unrelated to waveforming, which is new, but the, the standard way would end up having this subwoofer and this subwoofer be independent, and the back ones are independent, and it would do its own thing. And it actually doesn't do a great job on its own. It's one of the reasons why waveforming was such a great new addition was the standard approach that Trinov uses is just okay. So what I did was I actually grouped them all together. I turned them into an active three-way speaker. So here's one of the ways. There's one of the ways, there's one of the ways. I'm coupling these together because they're too close to bother separating. Then what I did was I EQ'd each one of those to, to effectively cancel out the mode. So think, you know, multi-sub optimizer type approach. Then once they were grouped together in such a way that they were canceling modes, I still had like a bumpy response, but I now had a response I could EQ that would be consistent across most of the scene. So then I didn't go into like MSO or something like that and figure out my PEQs. I just went and let the Trinov Optimizer do its thing because that it could handle. What it couldn't handle was how to EQ each of them individually to lead to a coupled flat response. So I did that for it and then it handled flattening everything out. The end result was phenomenal, and that allowed me then to raise and lower the levels and do my different modes. So I already talked about Youth Man came out, Michael Stevens. He is just a super nice guy. He's a very good interviewer. I think he made me better on camera. He was great on camera. By the way, again, if you haven't saw the other video where I talked about this, haven't seen that video, you should definitely go and check out the interview on his channel. It's great. But once I was able to optimize this, what I did, and this wasn't in the room when Michael came, was I made a standard mode that was sort of like lean. I'm gonna to call it lean bass so I like it I actually think it's pretty neutral but a lot, a lot of people probably think it's a little too lean bass boosted basically another 3-4 dB of, of boost in there with a certain shape to it though so that it doesn't get too boomy and then there was like extra bass mode we'll call it 6-7 dB up more of that shape to it youth man mode sorry Michael but it was like 20 dB up <laughs> so I, I just cranked it I did it originally as a joke because he was coming and I thought I didn't have these yet. This was just the other subs, but I thought he would think it's silly. And I told him what I did and he goes, I don't know, Matt, it's not silly. I really like it like that. Well, Michael, you got to hear it uh, like this because we're, we're talking like next level at this point. These subs have so much more output than what I had sitting here before, which is these, that it's absurd. This is the, just the 218s. I have two more I haven't hooked up yet. In youth man mode, everybody that's come into the room and heard that mode has started giggling because it's so silly ridiculous. So I'll try to show you guys later how I did that and it worked out, but I got to tell you, I never could have done what I did in the EQ had I not started with a subwoofer that was this good. I've heard subwoofers from most of the top manufacturers in the world. I've heard some of the best subwoofers at all price points. And I'm telling you, this is one of the top two or three subwoofers I've ever heard in my life for any amount of money. The bass, the driver is so overkill. It's so well engineered that the mechanical noises it makes when it's really pushing itself are more minimal than you hear in other subwoofers. So it just makes very little noise. It's sealed, not ported. No port chuffing, no port noise. It has 34 millimeters of excursion. It's got like over 2000 watts of power to each driver. As a result of that, you just get way better bass than you get from any other kind of system. So it allows you to really push the limits because you've got all this headroom. So I got to tell you, even if you're an audiophile and you think this is stupid and you want like a fast, I'm telling you, this is not stupid. It is tight, clean. The bass is fast. I know that's a, not a real concept, but for those who believe in that, I'm telling you the thing that you think of as speed, this does really well. It's group delay is extremely low. So as a result of that, it's following the transient accurately. It's not behind it at all at any frequency. The distortion is extremely low. It's inharmonic noises. It's inharmonic distortions, which are just basically nonlinearities that aren't harmonic in nature, are really low. Its IMD is really low. Like this is just an unusually good subwoofer. So I highly recommend you check them out. This is the RTJ18, which has the external amplifier, different enclosure than the JTR stuff. I really, really like them. Every system I've used them on, they've been good. Talk to me if you're interested. I do, I am a dealer for it, but I'm telling you this because I just think it's one of the best subwoofers and it constantly amazes me at just how good it is. So 
Hopefully you found this helpful. Thanks.